What is up, party people? I've spent the last six months staving off mobs of rabid fans, dozens of them, as they all ask the same question. When will candid competition return? The answer? Right the f*** now. Candid competition. We've decided to challenge five fast food pizza chains to find out who makes the best custom pizza. Pizza, pizza, wow! The catch, they don't know they're competing. They don't even know they're in this video. We're just gonna roll up to five pizza spots with a hidden camera and a photo of me and ask them to recreate my face using the toppings of their choice. I'll pay for the most expensive pizza you guys have if you will make this pizza of his face. Each pizza artist will deliver here tomorrow at the same exact time. All on a brand new episode of Candid Competition. Beauty is in the pie of the beholder. Also, I'm lactose intolerant. Our competitors today are Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's, Little Caesars, and Walmart. Uh, so this is Rachel, our producer. Rachel, you had um, some questions about the episode, right? I heard you're filming Candid Competition again. Right, we're gonna give them a photo and then we're gonna have them choose toppings to make me. I'm not gonna make photos on pizza. It's like how you, the, a cake person could like draw Zach out of icing. Cake companies do that, but pizza places don't. Well, that's why it's a competition. We're gonna be judging our competitors on three categories. Taste, delivery time, and most importantly, customization. Obviously, pineapple is everyone's favorite pizza ingredient, so that is essential. We must have pineapple on this pizza. So then a couple little bonus things we're gonna tell them, um, that I'm insecure about my hairline, so to make it look really nice and full. <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> like a little extra spinach. It's a little. <laughs> So we're gonna tell them all the same time tomorrow. You can't add another factor. Well, there are three factors. Well, yeah, you can. I think we're ready. Please don't get pizza people fired. Okay, noted. It's time to get us some pizzas. So actually growing up, I didn't really go to fast food pizza. We had a place called Italian Village and we also had Amore and I, I lived like five minutes from both of them. So I'm coming in as a real blank slate here. You know, I'm really here to decide once and for all who make the best pizza. Okay, so you're gonna go in, you're gonna show them this photo, and you're going to say, hey, Papa John's employee, can you please make a pizza with my face on it? No, no. that would be a terrible idea. No. Zach's famous. So what do you want us to tell them? Here's the deal, Miles. We want you to try and say the exact same script to every single place. Today is your best friend's birthday. This is his favorite pizza place. You're wondering if they could make custom pizza for you of his face. Here's a photo. If you find yourself in any trouble, yeah. we're gonna be with you on Bluetooth via headphone the entire time. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. you sound awesome. Okay. This is thrilling. Hi, how's it going? Um, I have kind of a fun request. So it's my best friend's birthday, and he like loves Pizza Hut. It's his favorite restaurant in the world. Uh, so for his birthday, we, I wanted to get him something special. So I wanted to get a pizza where you guys make his face out of topping. I will pay whatever like cost is. I'll pay for the most expensive pizza you guys have if you will make this pizza of his face. The problem is, uh, it's, not, it's not that we don't want to do it. We, we don't have the tools to be able to do that. You don't have the tools? Yeah, we don't have the tools to actually make a face. Well, you don't have to make an exact face. Just sort of assorting the toppings in a way that sort of like looks like his face. Just like it can be a boy, a boy with glasses. He's a boy with glasses, glasses, glasses. Yeah, man, we can give him a try. Awesome, man. I believe in you. I think you're gonna do great. Okay, so uh, like one thing, so he's a, like self-conscious about his hairline. So we just want to make his hairline look really good. But just a bunch of olives, a bunch of whatever topping you want. That's Say perfect. up to you, but he loves pineapple. <laughs> oh, and he, uh, he loves pineapple. That's the one thing we absolutely have to have on the pizza. What I was thinking is maybe like I could work his face out of pepperoni. Yeah, I like that, okay. And then work like the eyes out of mushrooms. He's an artist. He's an artiste. See, Rachel? They're artists. Wow, there really are a lot of pizza places just right boom, boom, boom. Hi, how's it going? 
Um, so I have like kind of a fun request. So hi, how you doing? Um, so I have kind of a special request. Hi, it's my best friend's birthday tomorrow. Um, and I, I, he loves Papa John. He loves Domino's, it's his favorite restaurant in the world. Little Caesars is his favorite restaurant in the world. He loves Little Caesars. And so I wanna get him a Domino's pizza with toppings that look like his face. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know his face isn't to begin with. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know his face isn't perfect to begin with. <laughs> You could try. That's all I'm asking yes. is you to try, right? If the pizza gets delivered with toppings on it, we'll be totally happy. Do you want to just pick some toppings? Um, uh, why, not, why don't you pick some the toppings? <laughs> toppings you think that it would be good on this pizza. Pineapple's probably your most popular topping, right? Pineapple's probably your most popular topping, right? <laughs> Uh, no, no, not really, no. Oh, not really? Do you think Caesar himself ever ate pizza pizza? Did Caesar himself eat pizza pizza here? Maybe. No, you, you think maybe? We want his hair to look really good, because like, cause he's very insecure about his hair. However you want to do it. He like, you know, has a receding hairline. We always are, you know, making fun of him about it. I never said um, I had a receding and, uh, hairline. And uh, just a couple of small things. So like, we always make fun of him about, about his receding hairline. And the pizza's for a big boy. Big boy? Big boy. Yes, yeah, for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Oh, you don't deliver? No, we just carry out. Oh, yeah. okay. Say, so we have it available for pickup at 1.30. You're gonna bend the rules for Little Caesars? We're in it. I didn't say receding. Now, next up is Walmart, but before we go there, we just wanna give them a call and make sure that they are up for the challenge. There's no way they're gonna do this. Here's the thing, Walmart has been in two candy competitions, they've never won, so I just wanna keep giving them a chance, you know? Thank you for calling Walmart and Burbank. How may I direct your call? How's it going? Uh, I wanted to speak to the pizza department. There is no pizza department at Walmart. Uh, you guys don't do any pizza delivery? No, we don't. Okay, um, well, thank you. Uh, it sounds like we're prank calling them. <laughs> I feel bad for them for the first time. Good morning, and welcome to day two of the pizza face race. Wow, the first pizza has arrived. We are set up, we are prepared. Keith, how you feeling? I'm feeling really good. We've got hidden cameras there, here, over the door, there, that through the window. Yeah, I know, but like, they're gonna, they're gonna be facing this way. It's 1.30, we're about 30 minutes out. The pizzas may show up at any moment, I'm so excited. Rachel, you peaked! <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, is, it, is it amazing? I'm on board now! <laughs> yeah! 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 So wait, we have two at the same time. I clear this space. Holy it looks shit. ridiculous. There's tea, Pro there's water. Okay, Who, what time is it? Is it two? It's almost two. It's 1.49, they're both 11 minutes early. Okay, so what, Keith, should I give it to whoever gets here to the door first? Oh my God. Or whoever is closest to two? No, I, you, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I think whoever gets to the door first, oh God, they're two guys and they're talking to each other. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I think I need to give them both $20. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's too much. They tied. I'm too stressed out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I, I think I need your help. You can do this. You can do this. I need, you oh my this. god. You I'm this. really freaking out. They know something stuff. Okay. Uh, these for Big Boy? Yeah, that one's for Big Boy and this one for maybe Miles? Awesome. Uh, yeah, do you mind bringing them in? How are you guys doing today? Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh... Awesome. We tried. Yeah, yeah. We are actually, so we're doing this video and we have four different places trying to make the same pizza. If you have like five minutes, do you want to judge them with us? It's fine with me. Yeah, Great. awesome. What's your name? I'm Zach. Welcome. Why don't you take a seat real quick okay. and we'll get this other pizza. Did you miss the Papa John's? Yeah, we're waiting on Papa. They take forever. Really? <laughs> oh, the shame! You tell us which one you think's the best. Guys, this is a pizza man walking out. Do you know him? Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> hey, how's it going? You... Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. We have a friend of yours here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, man? What's up? We're filming, do you want to come in? We're filming a competition video. No, I got coming, bro. 
Well, we've got a lot of pizzas to judge, but you absolutely have won our delivery portion of the competition. So congratulations and thank you so much. You are one of our winners on today's Candid Competition. Sweet. Candid Competition. So we have our pizzas from Little Caesars, Domino's, Pizza Hut, and Papa. There's only one thing left to do now. Let's see those faces. All right, are you ready? Wow, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so I think excited. you should fling it open so that the box doesn't hide our faces. Okay, three, two, two one. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. First things first, this is definitely a face. Does it have one ear here because you only see one ear in this photo. They added perspective into this art. They've got the glasses connected with bell pepper. Oh, my eyebrows are raised. That's a fine detail yeah, and they the, nailed the it. The mushroom eyebrows, the olives are a great choice for irises. They are one-to-one -one perfect. And look at this beautiful white onion hair and a lot of your favorite ingredients. I would have liked they had done a little better job on the rim of the glasses, but maybe these pepperonis are supposed to be the glasses. I do agree, I think this is lacking a rim job. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. This is actually probably my first time ever having Papa John's. And there's a nice sponginess to the bread. It's ready to rumble. I think it's bland. Pizza, well, they gave us garlic sauce. You can dip it in garlic butter and then your world will explode. I actually think this is really good. I think it's way too sweet. I love it. Huh? I Wow, I just said it. Wow, I love it. Wow. wow. Up next, hut, 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 hut pizza hut. hut. I Oh, Whoa. yeah, wow. <laughs> Aesthetically, not the most beautiful, but this man used meat. Time out. You have ham blush. You <laughs> shut the fuck up. There is one piece of ham on each cheek, rosying it up. <laughs> I'm like a little anime character. Oh. I think it looks a bit, a bit more like a monster. Like this looks like a mean Zach Kornfeld over here. Cheers. Oh fuck. This tastes like late night. Can I be real with you? Meatball is delicious sausage flavor. I'm gonna say something crazy. The accoutrement, unbelievable. But the base of the pizza, I can't believe I'm saying this. I like Papa John's more. Oh, you're crazy. And maybe I just have like PTSD from this flavor. I associate this with like my most drunken nights in college. Uh, so, ugh. Pineapple. <laughs> I think that the chin was better than the previous pizza. It really defined the face. Yeah, I mean, I have a chiseled face. Yeah. So to insinuate that the shape of my face is the same that of that of a pizza, insulting. Yeah, but this face tasted better, I thought. <laughs> And my face does taste amazing. Domino's! Obviously, Domino's, we've already had a crazy good connection. They've already won the delivery category. So they're currently in the lead. These are the instructions for the pizza guy. Oh. It says, make the pizza look like this guy. Eyes are pepperoni, teeth, teeth are, are pineapples. Pepperoni. The rest, up to you. Be creative. Let's see how creative they were. Three, two, one. Yeah. Huh. I, they are <laughs> uh, not super creative. No, I... Interesting cheese blend. It's a lot, yeah. Look, I think we had unrealistically high expectations for Domino's. Once you make a connection, like the connection that we had with I mean, how could anything not be a disappointment? So I like that they chose to individually make your teeth. Not your mouth, but nine pineapple teeth. I don't think they did a great job with your airline. I think, honestly, that's that's the worst my hair's looked in a while. Yeah. There's a sparseness of ingredients here, which yeah. I know, I know, I know, we said you could do whatever you want, but you have, I mean, how much was this pizza? It's a 25 fucking dollar pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you straight up, this crust is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. This is the most bomb ass crust I've ever had in my life. Remember when- Holy like, shit! Like nine years ago, Domino's was like, hey guys, look, we hear you. Our pizza sucks. <laughs> We're gonna change it. We're just gonna change it. And all they really did was pour fat on the crust and we were all like, we're back in, baby, yeah! <laughs> Domino's is good. The people are amazing. Better people, better crust. Domino's. Domino's. All right, last up, pizza pizza. <laughs> what an ugly box. I know, <laughs> Where, where's Caesar? 
You have the cutest mascot in all the land and he's not on your box. His arm is right here, I think. Pizza, pizza! Wow! Wow. Oh my God. I, oh my God. <laughs> There's a lot of color going on. Oh over my here. God. This is art. They made little green pepper pupils. There are pupils inside the fucking olives. The mouth full of little ham teeth is so goddamn funny. This chain cut up ingredients to make them look more like the features of a face. Holy shit, you're right. We did tell them that I wanted nice, robust hair. And they gave me not just one, but two ingredients. I would say you have Dragon Ball Z hair in this. It is like exploding I, out of your head. This pizza just went Super Saiyan. They chose bacon because bacon is a salty counterpart to pineapple. They balance the flavors. Why'd you guys want to make your own channel? This moment. So, uh, pizza? Pizza. Mm. I'd say that's pretty acceptable pizza. Totally acceptable. It's also crazy cold at this point. <laughs> it is now time to decide a winner. Papa John's, a surprisingly delicious flavor, and I can tell that there was a lot of thought put into their art. Pizza Hut really brought the toppings and meat, a really great flavor. Domino's, with the most electric delivery man I have ever met in my life. Can we give it to a pizza with such a simple design? And Little Caesars, a chain that was almost eliminated because they don't actually deliver, and with a flavor that was kind of just okay. I could see us giving it to any one of these pizzas. I think we're in agreement. I think so too. And the winner of Candid Competition Pizza Face Race, who will win? $50 is... At the end of the day, it's not the pizza joints, but the people who work there. And I don't know if you were here, remember, but we had this crazy custom pizza where we had someone design my face. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. No? Beautiful souls like and the pizza artists who put their all into every slice. Well, the pizza guy, I've tried waving. Nothing. Nothing. So then it's just like, well. Well, some people are just have to deliver and make the money. Is there an, a woman? She left already. She was amazing, and we just wanted to say yeah, thank you guys. She put so much into it. It's a beautiful day. She wasn't there, but I gave it to someone else. I gave it to the lady who you talked to yesterday because I don't want to come back. I don't want to come back. <laughs> I have a, a note from the network. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry they're canceling the show. I'm, I'm so sorry. I thought we really nailed it. I really thought we were doing so good. How do you get canceled three times? I don't know! This is at least as good as Brent King. He just sits at a fucking table. Should we start putting Eugene in these? No! Yeah, I guess we probably should. What if we get a drone? 